Alrighty, so we have a construction update at Canada's Wonderland today. Um, it's uploading really late, I apologize for that. I had a lot of traveling to do today, but it is finally up. So as you can tell, already looking at the screen, there's lots going on. So you have the mid-course brake run that was installed, and it's got all the catwalks installed as well. Um, if you also look really closely, you can see the pull out of the drop and a little bit of the drop angling up towards the MCBR. So as we said in our previous video, they're going to start working a little bit backwards-ish. So they're going to install the mid cores, the drop, anything underneath the zero G roll as uh, before they get that zero G roll pieces, final pieces installed. So it's going to be a little weird. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of, I guess, backward construction before you see the zero G roll installed, but they're moving really quickly. So it's actually phenomenal to see how much they have done. So um, here you have the mid course brake run with the catwalks installed. You have the drop pulling out and it actually looks like it could be steeper than the animation made it seem. I'm looking at how close that is to the actual MCBR. And I'm like, that's a pretty steep drop that it's gonna have to have to meet um, the mid-course break run um, and the, the drop should be done by Monday, Tuesday, and the zero-G roll should be done, if all goes well, by maybe the latest next Friday. So that's more than half the coaster that should be done by that point. So the 25 days that we're hearing that this coaster will be done by seems about right. Um, there's not much else. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to let you guys know about. Um, they are definitely digging some sort of pathway underneath the pole out of the station. So the beginning of the roller coaster, there's definitely a pathway being dug underneath there. You'll see that in these clips. Um, I do move over to the right, which I, <laughs> as I say that, I start doing it. Um, so you'll see there's some work in the station area definitely going on still. Um, lots of work in the uh, drop after the mid course. Mm, and I don't see that second support structure going up yet for the zero G roll. I do see a lot of supports on flatbeds in the storage area, which you should see very shortly. Um, so that'll be going into the park and assembled. And I assume that's the support structure for that second support structure for the zero G roll. Um, if I sound like I'm losing my voice, by the way, I am. <laughs> you can hear how raspy it, it is right now. Um, but yeah, not too much else to discuss. Um, I do get some really awesome angles of the mid course and the drop for you guys. And then obviously the storage area, there's nothing too significant they did bring in a second crane to lift that mcbr in place and you'll actually see when i um in a second when i go over to the storage area you'll see the little weights the red weights for that crane sitting in the storage area not too much else though to report on so you'll see there on the flatbed the, the red weights those are for the crane then you have the support beams on the flatbed that'll go into the park and uh, i'm assuming those are for the zero g roll because they do seem pretty tall um it could be actually also, it could be for the drop, actually. It could be for the drop. It's it's difficult to say. The drop does need to be completed before they start the zero G roll. Um, so it's it's all about what's next. The coaster's at this weird part of what's gonna happen after the mid course and the drop's done. Will they connect the, um, the drop out of the mid course to uh, the break run? That's something that could happen as well. Uh, maybe they're waiting for the footings in the Timberwolf area to cure before uh, they start moving in that area. But the crane is fully in the Timberwolf area as well, but that could just be because of the mid-course break run. Anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this uh, construction update. I wanted to let you guys know, also on our website, which I'll link down, link down below, we have our construction calendars and our photo album for Yukon Strikers construction over the year, uh, posted as well and up for sale as well for the holidays. So. Feel free to check that out. Um, they're super cool. I know I ordered uh, one of each myself. I'll show you guys when I get them in what they look like um, in person, but they're super cool. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update. Smash that like button, share this video for others to enjoy, and uh, comment down below what you think about Yukon Strikers so far. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.